There's one thing we all do in every Zelda game, and I will let you guess what it is. Killing enemies? No. Fighting Ganon? Nope. Getting the Master Sword? <sighs> No, it's breaking pots, and I know you have destroyed the property of other people, you criminal. And this is how fast can you become a criminal in every Zelda game. I mean, how fast can you break a pot in every Zelda game? Okay, no, this video is not that serious. Starting with A Link to the Past. That's not the first game. Oh yeah, maybe I should have said that. Pots, or how the high society would say, Vases made their first appearance in 1992 in A Link to the Past for the SNES. Well, I guess Vases are the reason the Zelda series got good. Okay, let's get back to the game. Well, we are sleeping. Oh, Pots right next to the bed. Now we just need to wake up. Link, wake up, time is running. Don't be like me every morning. Finally. And the first thing we do in the morning is break this pot. What a good start to the day. Next one, Link's Awakening. Well, good that we just woke up, but the real nightmare is starting here. We need the power bracelet to pick up pots. <sighs> Well, let's find it. The journey begins in Mario's house. Yep, that's Mario. We go to the beach to grab our sword? Why is there a sword on the beach? Anyways, let's head to the first dungeon. We fight our way through this dungeon full of weird enemies and Goombas? Huh? Man, this game is special. Yo, that was me when I found out that I had to get the power bracelet. Okay, first boss is a giant worm. Well, let's just bear him down. And we got a first instrument. Oh no, the village got attacked and the doggy got stolen. I'm a huge dog fan, by the way. So, you know, I need to help him. Actually, we need the dog to get the power bracelet. He stole our doggy. Doggy's secure. Doggy opens the dungeon and we got a power bracelet. On to the greatest game of all time. Fortnite. Wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong video. Woo! Flight simulator, yay! Also, why does Link have to wake up at the start of every game? Let's go into the next best house and smash their home. Also, that's my rupee. Ocarina of Time sequel, Majora's Mask. Yo, this time he doesn't have to wake up. Wait, are we actually sleeping? What is this nightmare? Well, I kind of want to wake up now. Stop hitting me, you second class Navi clone. Yeah, okay, this game is weird. So yeah, the world is about to end, but we have to play hide and seek with these kids. One, two, three, four, five. And we are inside the hideout. And pot smash. Oracle of Seasons next. And yes, I'm just doing one. You might ask why? Well, I don't know. After this long cutscene, we get tornadoed into Link's Awakening. Because we need to get another power bracelet! Ooh. First, we need a sword. And that one is hidden in the hero's cave. We move a few blocks and we have a sword. Dinkotree, wake up! I need to break pots! And he gives us the key for the first dungeon. We fight a few skeletons, grab minecart, and obtain bombs. And the final boss is a unicorn dragon. And we did all that for... Fertile Soil! Yay! Okay, time for some stalking. We are stalking this thing until it makes us a portal to this weird lava place. Where you get the stuff of seasons. We can change the weather with that. Santa Claus time! Okay, we're finally in the second dungeon. We make our way through the dungeon. And then we bomb these guys. And we finally get a reward, the power bracelet. And in the next room there are already pots. Next up is a really special game. Yeah! Zelda Four Swords Adventure. Link times four. We need to grab enough crystals to gain the power to crush those ice. After talking to Mr. Owl, we find Tingle. We just don't stop talking. And then we climb up the waterfall just to jump down again. <laughs> Time for the most epic battle. And now we have enough power to crush these eyes. And 10 seconds into the next level, we already found pots. That chest is looking kinda scary to be honest. On to the Great Sea, Wind Waker. But first we have history class. Don't worry Link, I fell asleep as well. And we get woken up by our sister. Then we take a fresh dive into the water. And... Pots found. Man, that kid is disgusting. The most underrated Zelda game ever. The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. And if you haven't played it yet, you should. Hmm, your Zelda's looking cute in this game. Anyways, Grandpa, say goodbye to your pod. What are you going to do now, huh? Huh? Next up, Twilight Princess. This game starts with the longest tutorial ever. A horse got stolen by this girl here. And then we need to work. Why do I have to work in a game? This is not a truck simulator or something like that. And we don't even get anything for our hard work. What a cruel world we live in. Now we need to grab some rubies and then we need to fish because the cat is apparently really important and also the cat wants two fish. One fish is not enough. Then the cat runs back home and we're finally allowed to go shopping. Yep, I'm taking that slingshot here. 
And now we have to do a combat tutorial. Man, why is this kid looking like that? Monkey! And then this random stranger gives us a lantern, which we need in the cave. And we found a pot. Yo, what's going on with this red? Time for the DS era. Phantom Hourglass, which is apparently the sequel to Wind Waker. Well, I didn't know that, but yeah, I guess the theme is the same as well. We can actually skip cutscenes. Hey, listen. Yo, these controls are weird. And we find a pot in the first house we see. Time for a train ride. Zelda Spirit Tracks. Yo, I'm not watching that intro. Wait, we know that guy from Wind Waker, right? And there's a pot right next to him. I'm sorry, bro. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that heart, right? And if you subscribe, that heart is for you. So, you know, leave a sub. When playing with a Joy-Con, attach a strap by following the steps provided. Yeah, I don't care, bro. I'm honest with you guys, this is the worst Zelda game. Please don't hit me. We start in our room. Yo, what is that haircut link? Nice cut, bro. And we just have to leave our room and walk to the left. And there's a pot. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry for scaring you, bro. Okay, this is the weirdest game out of this list. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I have no clue what's going on in this game. Okay, the castle needs a hero. Well, take me then. Wait, you're not letting me become a hero until I have clothes on? Bro, does it really matter? Okay, I guess let's go find some clothes. Okay, this weird lady is giving us clothes. And we have a legendary green tunic. Finally, we can start our adventure. Yep. And now we have the sequel for A Link to the Past. And we start in the same house, just like in A Link to the Past. Which means there's a pot next to the bed. But I kind of miss that. And you have all waited for this moment. Breath of the Wild. Well, <laughs> now that Tears of the Kingdom is out, it's not that special anymore, to be honest. We open our eyes and grab the Sheikah pad. And since I'm a speedrunner, we will do some tricks here. We position ourselves here and spam camera to glitch through the wall. Then we climb up here and we're outside. Hello, guys. Let me grab that. And see ya, guys. Can you please let me through? Because there's a pot next to you. And we found a pot. Okay, and now the last and greatest game of all time, Tears of the Kingdom. I really love this game. And also, I'm doing speedruns of it. So if you want to see them, check out my Twitch. Zelda, hurry up. We need to break some pots. No, stop talking to me, please. Zelda, I have a really important mission, Zelda. Okay, after we clean the basement of Zubats, we watch Gandalf coming back to life. Oh yeah, and Unbreakable Master Sword breaks. I guess it's not that unbreakable. Bye, Zelda. And we wake up with a fresh new arm. Time for this insane intro. Hello, cute creature. Give me that poor pet, please. And then we just cross the bridge. And here's a pot. <laughs> Apple. And that's how fast can you break a pot in every Zelda game. Here are the final results. And if you want more videos like this, leave a sub. That nigga strong going two for two. Coming up quick, ain't you check the news? Life too good, I don't got no blues. Nigga, only blues I got is cash. I keep it real, I don't need no mask. Too turned up to be worried about the nasty. Stop hitting my phone, I don't need your ass.